Prior to this project happening, there have been multiple years worth of work, which includes sampling, mapping of, of the deposit, and really just planning the project out so that way this project can be successful. The permits were pulled for this project in early 2020, and in conjunction with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, we soon came to understand what the project scope would actually look like and who our partners would be. The scope of the project is to remove 19,000 cubic yards of heavy metal impacted sediments from within the Nina Slough. This project is designed to both excavate as well as dredge any soils that have been impacted. The metals impacting the soil include iron, lead, manganese, and a trace of zinc. Every project is different. Every project requires attention to details. This one, due to the nature of where it is, how close we are to the community, what we're having to do for the removal, it's very, very detail-oriented, and you have to be on points through every phase to make it work successfully. It takes a great deal of pre-planning to be able to accomplish a task like this, and there's very limited equipment even in the, the entire country that is capable of performing this work. JF Brennan owns a specialized fleet of amphibious equipment, which allows us to work in areas where most equipment can't operate. This equipment allows us to work in marshes, in sensitive areas, removing sediment that would generally cost a great deal more and require a great deal more effort to remove. JF Brennan Owens equipment allows us to introduce stabilizing agents such as pearl and cement into the sediment to allow it to reach the proper strength prior to transport to the landfill. We utilize a fleet of software in concert with a GPS system that allows us to only target materials that need to come out of the waterway. We want to leave the remaining materials in there because they're costly to remove and dispose of for our client, but it's also unnecessary to remove from the environment. The biggest challenges are both technical for JF Brennan to solve, as well as some things that we have to manage. Things like weather, when it rains, the water level comes up. When it's dry, the water level goes down, but that doesn't inhibit the project. The project needs to continue. The waterway has its challenges. It's very dynamic and water levels change pretty quickly out here. Nina Slough is a very flashy system where water levels on a given rain event can go up or down a number of feet. So that makes it difficult for us to pre-plan our work, but ultimately uh, with Brennan's specialized amphibious equipment, we're able to overcome a lot of those challenges. We selected JF Brennan for this job specifically because they had the experience and the resources necessary to execute the project in a timely fashion and according to our specifications. JF Brennan's job is extremely difficult for a variety of reasons. There are unknown environmental conditions that we're going to encounter, and it's their job to be able to delineate and find that soil that needs to come out. Also, they need to deal with the weather and the environment just like we do. JF Brennan owns the only fleet of equipment that can successfully do this work in the time frame and the conditions allowed. It takes skilled operators, skilled hands, and a, a teaming and pre-planning effort to get that done effectively. And if everybody works together for one final goal, we can realize just about anything. The operators that we have operate their specific piece of equipment to the, to the best of their ability and to, I would say, above industry standards. These projects take a, a great deal of support on all ends to be able to operate the equipment as well as the technology to guide our removal. The goal here is to completely restore the slough back to its natural environment and habitat. And that's what's happening. In real time, as the soil is removed, nature is already beginning to bring back the habitat for both the wildlife and fish and for people to enjoy in the area. People love water. People, they gravitate around water. Kayaks are, are going through there. And every time I go out there, you see the wildlife, you see the ducks and the geese and the muskrats I've seen. I've seen deer are plentiful in that area. There's a lot of cool things that people can learn from there and children can learn. So anything we can do to make it better for future generations, uh, I think is a positive. Environmental is one of our core values. Doing this project and just doing the right thing makes us extremely happy. And TF Brennan has been excellent to work with. They are the experts in the field. I think they've done a great job on this project. I'm really excited and JF Brennan Company that's doing the work seems to be doing a tremendous job. They're good at what they do. This is happening quick out there and it's you know not dragging on for years. People have told me that uh, they're real excited about this getting done and uh, it's going to just have so many positive impacts. <laughs>